Uh, this is the applause into a little help for my friends. Uh, so I'm 20. George in the studio, we have old Ringo Starr of the Beatles fame. Ringo, what have you been doing since I last saw you in America a year ago? Um, very much. Really? Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I went on holiday, we made an LP, we've made a few more tracks, we've sort of been busy. What do you think of this new LP? It's a, it, it's a bit strange compared to the others. Would you term it psychedelic? Only if you want to think of it as psychedelic. Talking about things psychedelic and weird sounds of which this album is full of them, here's one of the most instantly beautiful tracks of the whole thing. Now I'd like to play you one. That's a sad little song. Where's it gone? <laughs> oh, this is it, yeah. Picture yourself on an old-fashioned elephant. Lucy in the sky for everyone. Now. <laughs> Guys, Lowe's happened here. It's okay, it's that is going. How long did you take over technical details like phasing? Phasing is great. Double, yeah. flanging, Double flanging, we call it, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, right, we're on the same thing. Flanging is great, right. Yeah, you used it we're on Lucy in the it. Sky. Lu you name the one that isn't on, you know, yeah. you name it. <laughs> you spot it, you get a prize, and you get a Sergeant Pepper badge. Try and a, a, a paper moustache. <laughs> Try anything you like. The phasing is too much. For the benefit of Mr. Kite, there will be a show tonight on Tram. Can you, without giving away any trade secrets, tell us anything about the numbers that you're engaged on at the moment for this this uh, new album that you're working on? Oh, we've done about nine or ten. Mm -hmm. And um, I think we've done about nine or ten. And there's a couple of strange ones, a couple of happy-go-lucky northern songs. Mm hmm and uh, a couple of a couple of whimsical you know folk medieval guitar. folk rock mm. have, you the, have you this time um augmented again used use any yeah. sort of strange lineups at all yeah we've well we've used sort of things that uh aren't us you know mm -hmm. quite a bit we use uh, the monkeys on a few of the tracks <laughs> <laughs> yeah right yeah but they wouldn't go along with the tv series uh, that we had yeah. planned for them yeah, yeah yeah has george written anything this time oh yeah he's yeah. done a great one yeah. <laughs> great one a great Indian one. We came along one night, had about 400 Indian fellas playing here, and it was a great <laughs> swinging evening, as they say. Yeah, so there's a few things going on. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for giving us the facts. <laughs> it's a pleasure. Straight from and love. thank you. Here we have the Derubas on two, and our English instruments joining in on track three, but George answering on sitar. Here it is. And pizzicato strings accompanying him. Bit of slurpy cello. Doing the same thing as the Duruba. Exactly the same way, the same kind of swoops that the Dilruba does. You hear his voice, you hear the Dilruba. A word about the fantastic 
album. Yes, friends, this is the most expensive album ever produced by any manufacturer, I would uh, venture to say, because not only inside does it have the album, it also has the words of every track on the back, and it's a double feature album, which has a free paper moustache, a badge, and a picture of Sergeant Pepper no left. Excuse me. This next one's called Lovely Rita, and it's sung by Paul McCartney. Pay special attention to the drums. Do you like to have a lot of people in the studio when you're recording, or do you like to do it completely alone? It doesn't matter. We had a lot of people on some of the tracks, and uh, sometimes we use them, you know, and then, uh, ask them to clap and that. Mm. Depends if, the, if it's good people uh, who don't hassle anyone and don't try and... Uh, mess a session up then it's great you know because it's uh company good company i hear you had the rolling stones in this session they came down because we had a lot of people there you know because it was a big session and we wanted to do and make a happening happen <laughs> <laughs> and it happened <laughs> Paul talking about people gathering around them while they were recording the album now we have two tracks to go this one is called getting better John wanted to finish this song with a collection of animal noises, starting off with a cock, identifying with a Kellogg's commercial, and then each animal was capable of either devouring or frightening the one before it. And we had a whole string of them here. These are the animal effects for um, Good Morning, Good Morning, and it's sign 20. Okay, one track to go now, and a very special one it is too. Oh, we don't, we've had everything on this program. Chris Denning, Kenny Averat, Beatles. The only thing we haven't had is chickens. <laughs> oh, big old problem. Play more music before we leave, and a word from Paul McCartney. This is James Paul McCartney, Upper 5B, yes. saying that 
Kenny Everett yep. is just about one of the finest disc jockeys in the world, as disc jockeys go, aren't you, Kenny? Oh, you're lovely. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Nothing you can sing that can't be sung. Sure is. There's nothing you can say, but you can learn how to play the game. Johnny. It's easy. You're right, boy. You're right there, boy. Ha! 
We haven't got anything in the cans. I'm ready to sing for the world, George, if you just give me the backing. See, we're getting musicians in now. And we'll do the last step. Oh, great, great. Okay. Run back the tape, please, Richard. There's several days' work on that tape. For perhaps the hundredth time, the engineer runs it back to the start for yet another stage in the making of an almost certain hit record. The supervisor is George Martin, the musical brain behind all the Beatles records. There's the orchestra coming into the studio now, and you'll notice that the musicians are not rock and roll youngsters. The Beatles get on best with symphony men. The boys began by making a basic instrumental track on their own. Then they added on top of that a second track of vocal backgrounds and they've just added a third track. Now comes the final stage. It brings in a solo vocal from John Lennon and for the first time the orchestra. Here then is final mixed track take one of a song which we offer to the whole world. All you need is love. All right, we're ready? Let's go for it then. Hands on musicians, please. Come on. All right, here we go then. We'll send the tape. Are you ready, Richard? Just come in. Okay, Jeff. Yep. All right, here we go. Okay, Richard. Here yeah. comes the tape. Off Watch it. Copy from the original backing, Jeff. Two, one, two. <laughs> 